outer space. Oh, hi crafters. This is the cheapest astronaut helmet ever. I just got back from my trip to the moon. Anyways, I'm going to be telling you all about a brand new plugin called Supreme Tags, which adds chat tags to your Minecraft server. Not your friend's Minecraft server, your Minecraft server. Now this is a premium plugin, but there is a free version with a few less features. I was given access to the plugin for making this video, but all thoughts will be my own. So today I'm going to be showing you how to install and use the free version, and then I'll show you how to upgrade to the premium version, and we'll go over like all the different features of that, and I will give my thoughts at the end. And get this, if you subscribe, I will give you a free ride on my moon buggy because I'm still doing the whole outer space bit. Okay, I don't actually have a moon buggy. Come on, everybody, let's go cancel Crafted Croy on X and TikTok because he's a liar. He's such a scumbag YouTuber. Okay, so the first thing that you'll want to do is head to the first link in the description. That'll take you to here. You'll just want to go ahead and click download now. This is the free version. We'll get back to the premium version later. And you're also going to need NBT API. So we can just click on download now. It'll send you to their moderate. You just click download. And then we want to head to our server, go to our plugins folder. And then we can just, if you get this, you just download unverified file. It's probably safe, probably. And we just want to throw these jars into our plugins folder. There we go. Now we can go ahead and start or restart our server. Three days. Grace. Okay, there we go. So we can just type PL in console and we can see we now have NBT API and Supreme Tags. Supreme Tags requires NBT API. I probably should have said that before. So yeah, that's all we need to do. Now you have Supreme Tags. So we're all good. Goodbye. No, you're not done that easily. Okay, so we'll want to go ahead and join the server. We'll just take a look at it. So now we can just go ahead and type slash tags. And we can see there are two tags by default, hex color and Santa. So if we go ahead and click this, now we have the Santa tag. However, if we go to tablets, we don't see it. If we type something in chat, we also don't see it. So you're going to need the placeholder API plugin as well, unless you just wanted to install it and not actually use the tags. I don't know why you'd want to do that though. So the next thing that we want to do is go to our file manager, go to our plugin. So you're going to need something for formatting the tab list and maybe something for formatting your chat. So I like to use the tab plugin and LPC, which stands for luck perms chat. So if we go into here, go into the config, this is a very basic chat formatting plugin. It's like bare minimum, but I love it because it's very simple. So we'll want to just go here and we can put percentage we can put an and R so that way, like if there are lingering color codes, it won't make, it won't change the color of our chat tag. So then we'll want to put a percentage sign, supreme tags underscore tag, and then a percentage. There we go. Now we're good to go ahead and click control S to save. And then we'll head into the tab plugin and we'll go into groups and ignore this. So then for the default group, we'll want to set the tab suffix to and R just in case like there are lingering chat colors that might make change the color of our tag. And then percentage supreme tags underscore tag, and then another percentage sign. And we'll just go ahead and copy this for basically like their name tag. There we go. Save that. Now we can head back in game. Tab reload and LPC reload. I also have links to download those plugins. So now we look in the tab list and we see we have the Santa tag. Now if we just type in chat, there we go. We have that as well. So now there are a lot that you can do with this. So, but first of all, you might see that the tag, there's like a space there. So the reason that we set it like this, instead of putting a space right there is in case they don't have a tag, then it's just going to add an extra space. So there might be a way to solve that. I don't think there is though. So we'll just want to go into Supreme tags and now you're seeing the config for the first time. So what we can do is scroll all the way to the bottom and here are our tags. So I'm just going to add a space right here add a space right here, control S, and then slash tags reload. And now it's spaced out properly if we chat. So good. The reason that we do this is so that way there's not a space when they don't have a tag. So if we were to reset our tag by typing slash tags and doing that, and then we 
talk. Well, now it says none. So what we have to do for that is you need to go into the config and I like to set the none. So right here, none output. We'll just want to change this. Just completely remove it. Control S and then tags reload again. Now, if we talk again, it looks fine. So I hope that makes sense. If it doesn't, go back, watch it again. So now let's say you wanted to change or edit this tag. What we can do is use the in-game editor. So this is really nice. You can do tags editor, and then you can select the tag you want to edit, and then you can change the tag of it, like how it looks. You can change the description, the category, the permission needed to use it. And you can also change the coming soon about it. Changing the coming soon, this is my favorite feature. And also not the, the coming with a U, the coming with an O. Yeah, I, I yeah, don't put that in the video. You can also just delete the tag if you don't want it anymore. But we're going to go ahead and change the actual tag of it. So let's put an and R to reset it and then make sure you put that space in. And then and eight, we'll just basically like add brackets on it. I think it looks really nice. And then we'll want to put an and hashtag. We'll do a nice hex code. So 00FF00. That's going to make it like bright green and L. And then Santa and R and eight. And then finally our bracket. There we go. So now it looks nice and hex color Cody. So alternatively, you can add tags via the config.yml. So we can just head in there and you can just scroll all the way to the bottom to the tags and we can just basically copy one of these, couple line down, and then we'll want to change the name of it. So we can be like, and then you can get rid of all of this mess and we can just put our what do we want. And then we can change the permission and you can change the description. I think you get the point by now. You, you change everything. It's so customizable. Yay. And then there are also different categories. So basically, if you want to organize all your tags into different subcategories, then you can do that. And we can also change the item of it. Oh, what the heck did I do? So let's say we wanted it to be a dirt. There we go. And then the cost. So if you wanted to, you can basically enable the ability to purchase tags. So this is pretty cool. So for now, we're just going to leave that alone. I'm not going to mess with that for now. And we can just click control S and then we can go in game tags reload. Oh, oops. I I'm tired. And so then there we go. Crafted Croy is fun. And there we go. My tag worked. So you can do that. We can also delete tags. So like tags remove delete. I probably should have known that and fun. There we go. It's gone. That's it. So if you're using like a different tags plugin, such as deluxe tags, you can also merge your tags data. So tags merge. It currently only works with deluxe tags. Hopefully they add support for other tag plugins, such as eternal tags or Alonzo tags. But for now, because deluxe tags is pretty much garbage. Okay. I think we've talked enough about the free version. So now let's go get the premium version. So for the premium version, what you want to do is head to their spigot page, purchase it if you haven't already, and then you just click on download now, or you can also get the dev versions from their discord. So you just would go here and download the latest one. And then we'll just want to head back to our server and we can head into our plugins folder and we'll want to delete. Or if you wanted to, you can just put dot disabled at the end in case you want to just keep it in there in case you wanted to re-enable it later. I don't know, you might as well just delete it. And then you can upload your new premium jar. And now this step's important because the premium version, it has more files that it needs to generate. What you'll need to do is go to the Supreme Tags folder that you already have, and we'll just put something like old Supreme Dynamic Tags, or you could just delete it. I like to save things just in case. That's just me though. And yeah, now we need to restart our server. Two thousand years later. Okay, there we go. Our server's back up. Yay. So now we can type PL in console and we can see we have all these different plugins. So we have Supreme Tags there. It's the premium version. 
So we go in game and we can type slash tags and it looks a little bit different now. So we still have the same old Santa and hex color tags. We can add more, obviously. I already showed how to do that. It's pretty much the exact same thing. And there's also this balance right here. I don't have the vault plugin on my server, so this kind of doesn't work. If you had vault and you had the placeholder API expansion for it, it'll work fine. I don't though. And you can also create personal tags now. So basically these are like tags that only one player has. There is a way to blacklist certain words from it. So why don't we just head into the config so I can show you that. So right here, Supreme tags. So banned words. I'm probably going to get demonetized for showing all these, but you know, I, I showed it, it's too late now. So you can add more words to that if, if you like, you don't like the word hockey for some reason, like me. Hockey, there we go. So now you can't put hockey in your personal tag. So now what we can do is we can just click create a tag. So there we go, see? I, I can't type that because there's a bad word in it. So let's just make it something really nice, like... I'm, I'm out of nice things. I don't know, I, I got nothing. I literally got nothing. Chum, there we go. And then we can, what do you want it to look like? So now we use the chat tag, so and hashtag FF00FF, so that'll be pink and L. Chum, there we go. And we want to go to our tags go to the personal tags and we can get the, the the chum tag. So once again, it is spaced out weirdly. So we need to add that space in again. So while I was editing this video, I realized that there's an option in the config.yml for format replace for the personal tag. That way the default players, they don't have to add like an and r in a space. And you can also put like the and eight with the, the gray brackets around it if you want to. So now once again, if in the config.yml, we'll want to set the none output to nothing. That's personal preference. You can keep it as that if you want. And then also there's this layout type. So we can set it to full or border. So border is what it's currently at. We can type slash tags and see there's this nice border around it. I really like that. But if you wanted to, you can set it to full and then tags reload. And now it's taking up like the whole area so you can fit more tags on the screen. I like it with the border, you do what you want. And also with the premium version, we have the option to type slash tags config. So we can change the config from in game. Isn't that something? So for example, if we wanted to make the tags glow, we can just enable it or click this and now it's disabled or categories so i talked about this a little bit before so if we enable this type slash tags now there are three different categories so rank tags christmas tags and default tags you can add more categories i don't think you only have the option to add christmas tags or whatever and then there's our christmas tag you can basically specify which category each tag goes into in the config okay so now we're going to go and so now we have so we can type tags config again and we can also enable the cost system. I don't have vault on my server, so I'm not going to do this. So this basically shows all the tags, even if the players don't have them unlocked. So you can enable this or disable this. This enables the personal tags. I think this is a pretty cool feature, honestly, like most tag plugins don't have this, so it's pretty cool. And we can also change our layout type right here if you want to. So now it has the border. Now it has full, yep. So now if we wanted to create another tag, what we would want to do is head back to our Supreme tags and go into the tags.yml. So we'll just go and copy one of these tags. So Santa, control C, scroll all the way to the bottom, line all the way to the bottom. I, I don't know, make sure like this is two spaces away. So what's cool about this is we can make animated tags. So that's why there are multiple lines. So each of these is going to be like a different frame. So I'm done with Santa. Well, we'll do Easter Bunny. And then we can just change the tag out to whatever we want. So hashtag 00FFFF Easter Bunny. And then we can copy this and we'll make this frame like this. 
We'll do this again. There we go. We'll see if how that looks. And then we'll want to make sure we have that little space. You technically wouldn't need this if you just put a space in all your different configs before it but I prefer to do it this way. So now there are a bunch of different, so now we can change the permission, Easter bunny. We can change the description and then the category. We'll just set this to default for now. And then if we wanted to, you can change the custom model data of it. So you'll need like items adder or a vanilla resource pack for this. So we can just like I a custom model data. We'll make it arrow chest. So that is a paper with custom model data of 10,004. There we go. And then paper. And yeah. So you can also edit all of this stuff. So in the free version, you could only change these for all of them globally, but you can change this for each individual one now. I almost kind of liked it when it was simpler, but whatever. And then we can just click on save and go here and tags reload and then slash tags our default tag so there we go we have our custom model data right there and now we have the easter bunny tag and it is changing because it's like each frame so if you wanted to change the the interval of how it changes you would want to go into your supreme tags your config and you'd go down to the animated tag speed in ticks so if we change it to one tick it would be really fast I don't feel like the speed changed at all. Eh, whatever. And then if we wanted to change it to be a little bit slower or a lot slower, we go like this. And now it's going to take a very long time until it gets to the next frame. There we go. So now if you wanted to give a player permission to a tag, you would do slash LP user and then their username. So me in this case, and we'll do permission set. And then it would be supreme tags dot tag dot your tag so this is basically like what you set in the config we'll just do easter bunny so now i'd have access to easter bunny i currently have ops so i basically have access to all the different tags so this is what you would do for default players they're so basic nobody likes them so now that you've had a chance to see supreme tags in action i would like to share some of my thoughts on it with you so first of all i really like how there's a free version so that way you can basically try it out and see if you like it before you go ahead and buy the premium version I wish more developers would do something like this. I think that my favorite feature of this entire plugin is the ability to have custom tags per player. This is just really cool and it's something that you could sell like on your web store something without being pay to win and all that. A feature that I do wish that it had is plugin messaging. Now this isn't the same thing as MySQL. That basically just allows you to sync data between multiple servers. So what plugin messaging allows you to do is basically create a tag on one server and then all those tags will show up in all the other servers without having to manually go into the config and paste them into each different config and reload or restart the servers. I know that this is possible because another popular tags plugin, Eternal Tags, has this feature and it is really nice. I've been using Eternal Tags on my Minecraft server for over a year now, so we have probably 100 tags or so. So going through and having to manually add all these to Supreme Tags would take a very long time. So it'd be nice if you could just automatically merge them into Supreme Tags. So whether or not you decide to buy this plugin is completely up to you. Not your friend, not your sister, you. But I would definitely recommend to give the free version a try before you decide to go ahead and purchase the full version just so you can get a feel for it. But if you do end up buying it and deciding you don't like it, then you're really only out about like $10. So not a huge loss like the $200 plugin that I bought a while ago. Yeah, I've made some bad choices in my life. But what do you guys think of Supreme Tags if you're still even watching? I honestly don't blame you. I probably wouldn't be watching myself. But since you did stick around this long, then make sure to subscribe so you get a ride in my moon buggy, which I don't have. But if you need support with this plugin, feel free to join the Supreme Tags Discord, or you can also hop into my Discord server as well. Both will be linked in the description. Anyways, I have to catch a rocket ship back up to the moon. So until next time, I will see you on the other side and happy crafting. Oh, shoot.